you know, so you make, make sure you want to tune in for that. And uh, it's great to have you guys with us. And uh, uh, Lee DeWise, uh, American Idol season uh, number uh, nine winner. Uh, great individual, great person. And uh, he has a great cause that he's working with, uh, with the Surf Rider Foundation and also Barefoot Wine. So, hey, let's bring on the great Lee DeWise. All right. It's all about uh, keeping the sand, not trash, between your toes. And uh, to talk about this great initiative that's going on throughout the United States, uh, we have musician extraordinaire Lee DeWise and also Alexis Henry talking about things that we can do to help out and uh, some things that they're doing uh, to help us uh, to continue on making this a reality. And uh, uh, you both, welcome to the KCA Morning Show. How are you both doing? Doing well, Good. thank you. Awesome. And, uh, and uh, Alexis, you know, looking at um, your, um, your function with the uh, Surf Founder Foundation, um, before we bring on Lee, let's talk about what your uh, organization does and the function uh, behind it. Yeah, the Surf Rider Foundation is a nonprofit environmental organization, and our goal is to protect the world's oceans, waves, and beaches so that everyone can enjoy them, whether you're a resident or a visitor. So we have 84 chapters that are all volunteer-based spread throughout the United States and working on everything from beach cleanups and water quality testing to advocating for open access. Awesome. And uh, we also have uh, American Idol Season 9 winner Lee DeWise with us. And, Lee, what made you want to uh, help uh, with this particular cause? Well, you know, growing up in Chicago, um, going to the beaches was something we did as a family quite a bit. And, you know, uh, living out in California, you know, we take, uh, my wife and I take the dog out to the beach. And when we're out there and he runs in the water and brings back plastic or garbage, you know, that's it's pretty frustrating. And, um, you know, I think that, a big part of it is is that you know um, being able to lend a hand in the way that I can and and being able to be a part of it um, you know means a lot to me um, and that's why you know I'm helping them kick off the project this weekend in Chicago uh, on June 1st and you know we'll be out there cleaning up the beach and and uh, I'll be doing a performance and um, you know just anything I can do to help and, and and realistically when you look at some of the statistics and the numbers like um, you know more than 23,000 beaches a year. Um, are, are closed or posted as unhealthy or, you know, uh, just by doing things like picking up your pet's waste or disposing your motor, motor oil uh, properly and, and um, you know, not using plastic bags and bottles and using reusables, all those kind of things can help. And, uh, you know, to be a part of the Barefoot One Beach Rescue Project is, uh, you know, an honor and importance to me. Yeah, it sounds, uh, sounds very, very exciting, uh, Lee and, uh, and Alex. Alexis and uh, Alexis, you know, let's talk about something else too. About uh, what is uh, the Beach Rescue Project, and also what beaches are being rescued out there? Well, the Beach Rescue Project has been around since 2007, and what it is, it's 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 a collaboration between Surfrider Foundation and Barefoot Wine, and we really want to encourage people to uh, get out there into their coastal communities. And help clean it up and, you know, raise awareness about the fact that litter affects everyone, not just residents, but visitors alike. Uh, we are, we're tackling a bunch of beaches this summer, 15 in total, including, uh, Huntington Beach on Saturday, July 20th. So for any of your listeners out there who want to make a day at the beach, we encourage you to come down, um, on July 20th and all they need to do is RSVP at beachrescue2013.com for complete event details. Awesome. If you're just tuning in to the KCAA Morning Show, I'm Paul Lane being joined by musician extraordinaire Lita Wise and also Alexis Henry uh, from the Surf Finder Foundation talking about some great things that we can do to help keep our, our beaches clean. And, and, and guys, you know what, what was staggering to me is that how 98% of beach goers say that they see litter, litter when visiting the beach and more than 30% say that water pollution and debris keeps them out of the water. Hey, you know, beaches were created for us to get into the water. And, and Lee, to hear things like that, you know, it, it really has to pain your heart, and not only your heart, but your heart too, Alexis. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, it's it's so disheartening. Like me as a surfer paddling out and seeing a plastic bag floating by and having to stuff that into my wetsuit. But, you know, it all starts with education, and considering up to 80% of the plastic in our ocean comes from land-based sources, the number one thing we can do is educate people, um, both on the coast and inland, that, you know, 
everything eventually drains into a body of water, and unfortunately most of that is the ocean, and we need to just do our part, pick up our trash, properly dispose of our used motor oil, pick up after our pets. All those little things we can do in our daily lives will collectively make a huge difference. You know, and, and I think that's amazing. And, and, and Lee, what's your thoughts, too, when you, when you see that all the debris um, that we see at beaches when beachgoers don't even want to get into the water? You know, how, how does it make you feel personally? I mean, it's definitely sad, and, um, you know, it definitely, uh, you know, makes you wonder, you know, what are things going to be like in five years and ten years and 15 years and 20 years? And, you know, if that's where we're at now, um, you know, where is it going to be then if we don't do anything? So it's important to do things now, and it's important to uh, get people involved, and it's and it's important to, to really remember that, um, you know, it's definitely one of those things that, um, you know, if it's not us, it's not going to be anyone else. And so um, I think... To be able to to be a part of it and to to be able to try to you know help uh, get more people involved in it is is really a great thing and um, you know I hope we can bring as many people out to these events as we can. That that is so true. Now um, let's talk about past events, uh, Alexis, and the success that you guys have had with this. Um, were you able to change people's lives and their perception about beaches and how everyone has a responsibility to keep our beaches clean? Well, we we hope we're changing lives and perceptions about how people need to keep the beaches clean out there. But, you know, since 2007, this project's been hugely successful. I mean, Barefoot Wine has donated a million dollars to the Surfrider Foundation so we can continue activating on campaigns around the country. Uh, The project has traveled coast to coast, hosting more than 100 cleanups. And, you know, we've removed over 12 tons of litter and debris in an effort to keep all those beaches barefoot friendly. Awesome. That makes a lot of sense. Alexis Henry from Surf Finder Foundation joins us on the KCA Morning Show. Also, musician Lee DeWise uh, joins us as well. Now, who else is involved in this year's project? I know you talked about uh, Barefoot Wine. Are there any other organizations out there that are partnering uh, with you guys uh, to make this a uh, uh, success? No, actually, it is a partnership exclusively between Barefoot Wine and the Surfrider Foundation. Uh, Lee is kicking off um, the project on June 1st with a performance in Chicago, and then we've got some great musicians doing a handful of activations throughout the country as well. Awesome. Now, uh, we talked about earlier how we can get off, how our listeners can, can get involved. And um, one of the questions we want to find out, too, is how can our beaches be rescued? How, how can we do that? I mean, the easiest thing to do is pick up after yourself. If you're going down to the beach to enjoy, you know, a break from the heat or to enjoy surf, make sure you're bringing out the trash that you're bringing in. And, you know, if you see a piece lying on the ground, pick it up. Always, it never hurts. It always helps. Yeah, yes, it does. And uh, what are uh, your concert events for this year? We know we talked about the one kicking off in uh, in Lee's hometown of Chi Town. Mm-hmm. But um, are there any more kicking off? What about in our area in California? Unfortunately, we don't have any concert events planned for California, but what I can tell you is after the beach rescue event on July 20th, Barefoot Wine and Surfire Foundation will be holding a thank you volunteer appreciation for uh, all the volunteers who are over the age of 21. We're, we'll be serving up some Barefoot Wine and bubbly yes. and hors d'oeuvres. You know, we just want to make sure to say thank you for coming out on a Saturday to, uh, you know, ded- dedicate your time to protecting something you love. That makes a lot of sense. And a little bit of wine make you feel a little fine. That's all I got to exactly. say. Exactly. And I, I will definitely be there. And, and Lee, I just want to say, too, uh, yesterday I tweeted out um, that I was going to interview you today, and it was amazing, amazing the support that you have. And, and I feel, Lee, that your fans are going to come in droves to, to help this cause out. And how does that make you feel, Lee, that, that you're able to have that kind of impact on ones? Well, it makes me feel really good, you know, and it also, uh, you know, also reminds me that I have a responsibility to, uh, to obviously do my part and, 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 um, you know, get out there and help. And I, and I, and I, I have some, I have some amazing fans and, and, um, you know, I, I know that they'll come out and show their support and, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be a really good thing. I'm just glad that I'm able to help. Absolutely. Alexis Henry Lee DeWise, it's been an honor to have you on the KCA Morning Show. Now, is there a website you want to get out, give out there for our listeners uh, so they can uh, really get involved with this and uh, show their support and love, especially here in California? Sure. Uh, the best thing to do is visit BeachRescue2013.com for all the event details and the full schedule of the Barefoot Wine Beach Rescue Project. Awesome. And, Lee, before we let you go, anything you want to say out there? I just want to say thanks to everyone that's going to be coming out, everyone that's going to be uh, partaking in any of these events. And, um, 
you know, um, as far as I go, you know, we I got a single out on iTunes now. It's called Silver Lining, and uh, you can go to LeadWiseOfficial.com to, to find all that stuff out. And, uh, you know, go to BeachRescue2013.com to find more about the uh, the event and what we're doing. Sounds good. Thank you so much. And, Lee, we'd like to have you on uh, later on in the year to talk about your single and your tours. And also, Alexis, we'd like to have you on uh, post uh, this event to see how successful it was. How does that sound? Sounds great. All right, guys. Thank you so much. We'll talk to you real soon. Thank you. All right. All right.